Number 8. Russian Family of Skeletons A shocking discovery made at a site in Fanagoria offers a unique glimpse into a sinister family history. While excavating at a well-preserved necropolis in Russia, archaeologists unearthed the bodies of an entire family that dates back to the 5th century. Inside the crypt, the skeletal remains of a wealthy warrior were found lying beside his wife and their three children. All of the bodies were found in a confined space, side by side with pottery, placed on either side of them as offerings. So, what could have been the cause of their deaths? Could it have been an attack from the nomadic tribes? Or is it possible the family died from the plague? Multiple questions swirled around the archaeological dig, with experts realizing that because the bodies were buried so deep, more than 16 feet below the surface, it may mean the male was a warrior, which gave his family high status and would have allowed his wife and children to be buried alongside him with honor. A number of items found in the crypt gave experts more evidence that the man served in the city's army. Riding stirrups and spurs, as well as a leather harness attached to a belt that would have been used to carry a sword, were found on the male skeleton. Eagle-eyed archaeologists noticed that the leather harness and the buckles were very worn out, which meant he would have had to sheathe and unsheathe his sword over and over again while fighting. The capital of the Bosporan kingdom, Fangoria, was an important center of trade between the southern Caucasus and Maytoan marshes. Located at an important trade route near the Black Sea, it would have been an area that experienced a lot of turmoil and conflict, which may be why the Russian warrior was such a celebrated person to receive the honorable burial. It's also possible that the warrior and his entire family were butchered by the nomadic tribes, who often warred with the locals. Archaeologists will continue to study the remains and look for the telltale signs of either disease or violence to discover the circumstances that led to the burial of an entire family that remains a mystery. Number 7. Transylvanian Urns It isn't that uncommon for skeletons to be buried with objects that either celebrate their lives or are to be used in the afterlife. But a group of skeletons unearthed in a 6,000-year-old Transylvanian cemetery had an unusual surprise for archaeologists. The deceased were buried with urns placed over their skulls, or sometimes their feet. Researchers who discovered the unique burials while working at the excavation believe they were offerings for the afterlife. The settlements where they were found was a fairly sophisticated one that had traces of wooden walls to fortify the homes of the Stone Age inhabitants. But the contents of the jars remained a mystery, with researchers unable to figure out what was inside. What do you think the ancient people would have buried with their dead? Could it be gifts of food, something that was often buried with ancient people? Or could the deceased have been fed a final meal before ritual sacrifice? With two different settlements found at the site, it's not that easy to figure out. One of the settlements was from the Neolithic era, dated to about 6,000 years ago, and the other was a Celtic settlement built on top of the original one about 2,000 years ago. Until researchers can determine whether there was food or drink inside the urns, we are left to wonder about the burial practices of ancient people and if the offerings were a tribute or for them to use in the afterlife. Number 6. Early Cave Art Deep in the Borneo jungle, scientists have identified ancient figurative art that depicts animals long lost to time. Inside a hidden cave, researchers found stark drawings that feature haunting ancient hand stencils that date between 13,000 and 20,000 years ago. Along with the strange hand illustrations, scientists also identified unsettling depictions of human figures painted onto the walls. Without much evidence of what happened to the Ice Age artists in Borneo, these paintings remain pretty mysterious. And unless scientists can figure out exactly how old the paintings are, they could be lost to time. As experts work to pinpoint how old the paintings are before they deteriorate, we are equally as excited about these examples of the world's oldest figurative art. Previously, older man-made images that have been found only showed lines and abstract patterns. So, many archaeologists were stunned to discover these paintings because they show that Homo sapiens in ancient times were well aware of not only themselves but the world around them. Even more astonishing is the fact that this shift in figurative art was happening in the remote Borneo cave 
around the same time it was happening in Asia and Europe. But uncovering this previously unknown cave art was a grueling task for archaeologists who had to travel deep into the rainforest by canoe and backpack the rest of the way through the thick brush to get to the out-of-the-way cave where the stunning rock art was found. As they continue to study the hand stencils and other paintings found on the rock walls, researchers are experiencing the lives of the ancient people who left a lasting legacy deep in the rainforest. Number 5. Skeleton Lovers Were Male Some say that love never dies, and with the case of a pair of skeletons found in 2009 in the Italian city of Modena, a stark example of this belief stunned archaeologists. While digging beneath the Italian city, archaeologists came across a breathtaking sight. Two 1,500-year-old skeletons fossilized together and holding hands. With their faces staring into one another, it was a heartbreaking and chilling discovery. But there were more surprises to be found as workers continued to excavate. After getting a closer look at the skeletons who had now been nicknamed the Lovers of Modena, archaeologists were in for a shock. Both skeletons were male. Originally, one of the skeletons was identified as female because it was wearing a bronze ring on one finger. But after testing the tooth enamel of both the skeletons, researchers declared that both skeletons were in fact men. So were they cousins? Brothers? It's possible, given the fact that one was wearing a ring, that the unfortunate skeletons belonged to male lovers. Surprisingly, this isn't the first skeleton pair to be found in such a position. Previously, two 6,000-year-old skeletons found in northern Italy holding hands were in fact a male and a female. Either way, the discovery of the lovers of Medina shows that a bond between individuals is never broken, and love can indeed endure forever. Hey, real quick, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Thanks for checking us out. What do you think of the video so far? Let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 4. Hidden Egyptian Crypt It isn't uncommon for archaeologists working in Egypt to find previously unknown tombs and temples. But in 2019, while working at the site of a royal temple, archaeologists from New York uncovered a mysterious structure at the ancient site of Abydos. Once a very important city, Abydos is home to the tombs of several early kings. When archaeologists were working on excavating a temple, they stumbled upon a hidden stone walkway that would lead them to a building with a remarkably well-preserved cartouche. Understandably, the researchers were incredibly excited, and as they studied the cartouche, which is a hieroglyphic that shows a building or temple belonging to royalty, they realized that it spelled out the name of one of Egypt's most important pharaohs, Ramesses II. Found about 300 miles south of Cairo, Abydos has a number of tombs where pharaohs from the earliest dynasties are buried. But the discovery of this hidden Egyptian palace at the royal temple of Ramesses II is one that will change history. The very fact that Ramesses would require a palace in the ancient city shows that he didn't just see it as a site for temples and crypts. He saw the importance of having a permanent place to rule Egypt, and because of that, he constructed the impressive palace. It was no ordinary temple either. Its cornerstones were decorated with royal symbols, etchings that would help researchers to understand not only why temples of this period were so important, but how some of Egypt's most important pharaohs ruled their military campaigns to retain their power. Number 3. Ancient Teeth Large funerary temples aren't the only important historical finds made by archaeologists. When a research group in Germany stumbled upon a set of teeth, they didn't realize that they may be rewriting human history. Never before seen in either Europe or Asia, the 9 million year old teeth were found in a dried up riverbed in Germany's Rhineland. Stunningly, the teeth resemble some that were found belonging to the first humanoid skeletons that were discovered in Africa. But how did the unique fossils get there? After sifting through gravel and sand in the riverbed, scientists unearthed the teeth and after studying them further, they realized they may be 9.5 million years old. That would make them 4 million years earlier than the oldest hominin species ever discovered in Africa. But that doesn't make the mystery about how the teeth got there any easier to solve. 
The expedition leader was understandably puzzled about how the teeth so closely resembled those found in Africa that were 2.5 million years younger. Little did experts realize that after uncovering the mysterious teeth, they could quite possibly be rewriting the history of mankind. Because scientists were so shocked by the find, they decided to keep the discovery secret for over a year before publishing it. A director at the National History Museum in Germany believes these are the teeth of an ancient ape, but he still can't explain how the fossils that so closely resembled those in Africa were found in a river in Germany. Over the years, there's been a lot of fossil evidence found that showed great apes roamed Europe millions of years ago, but because there have been no confirmed cases found on the continent of hominins, a species that were closely related to humans, researchers now realize that the work truly begins to unravel the mystery of those ancient fossils. Number 2. Neanderthal Fused to Walls While most archaeologists realize it can be quite a task to uncover fossils buried underground for centuries, they didn't realize that a discovery made in southern Italy in 2015 would reveal one of the most startling examples of ancient remains. Found inside the walls of the cave in southern Italy, the bones of an unidentified individual were unlike any other bones ever discovered. Found in a sinkhole, the skeleton wasn't what you or I might picture. The bones were found sticking out from the limestone rock. They were covered with stalactites that were left behind by water that dribbled down the cave walls to where the body remained. It took thousands of years for the growths to fuse the bones into the limestone walls of the cave. So when archaeologists uncovered the skeleton, they were shocked by the Neanderthal who was entombed in limestone by hundreds of small stone formations. Originally discovered in 1993, the skeleton is believed to belong to a Neanderthal whose DNA is the oldest ever extracted by researchers. But it took a lot of effort and careful examination for archaeologists to determine not only how long the body was down there, but whether it was a male or female who had unfortunately fallen in. It would take only a tiny piece of the skeleton's shoulder bone for researchers at the University of Rome to extract mitochondrial DNA, later matching it to other Neanderthal skeletons in their catalog. This gave them the ability to date the bones to between 172,000 and 130,000 years ago. As it turns out, that was around the same time when ice sheets were expanding significantly out of Antarctica and Greenland, which could possibly be the reason why the unfortunate Neanderthal ended up in the hole in the first place. During massive environmental shifts, it's possible that he fell into a cave that was lurking in the limestone underground. Luckily, Experts were able to extract DNA samples from the skeleton, later realizing they had found the most ancient Neanderthal DNA that has ever been extracted. It may also give scientists new evidence into the evolution of hominids and how early Neanderthals moved across Europe during prehistoric times. Number 1. Kabayan Mummy Caves Many cultures around the world mummified their dead, but unlike the ancient Egyptians who removed the internal organs of the deceased, and covered the bodies in gauze. The mummies of the Philippines were preserved in a very different way, with fire. The Kabayan people have a strange ancient rite to honor their dead. To preserve the bodies, the people of the Kabayan region use fire to dehydrate and smoke their dead. Then they store them in caverns 4,000 feet up the side of a mountain. As death approached, the unfortunate individual who was on his last breath would drink a beverage that had a high concentration of salt that would help to dehydrate the body and start the drying process before they actually died. Then, after the person died, his fellow tribesmates would thoroughly wash the body and place it in a seated position over a smoldering fire that would help to dehydrate the soft tissue. Going one step further, those attending to the body would dry the internal organs by blowing smoke directly into the mouth of the deceased to help remove all of its internal fluids. The final step of this unique mummification process included rubbing the body with herbs and then placing the body into one of the caves. Even today, remarkably well-preserved mummies remain in the caves where they were placed. The Kabayan people are a superstitious group, so they usually place their mummies in remote caves to prevent theft. But that didn't stop looters from stealing one of the mummies, like the one that went missing in the early 1900s. During that time, the body of the head of the Apu Anu tribe was stolen. Soon after, 
a number of natural disasters, including earthquakes, droughts, and poor harvest, plagued the village. Luckily for the Kabayan, the mummy was later returned and reburied in the hopes of restoring the balance to the tribe. To prevent further thefts, the caves were declared a protected site that not only keeps the location of the mummies a secret, but also helps to prevent future looting. A striking example of a sacred burial process, the mummies are not only important to the tribe, but a superstitious ritual that still puzzles outsiders. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these mysterious archaeological discoveries? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.